Good afternoon, good evening, traders. This is Sage FT from the Live Trading Desk coming at you with another Mindset Monday. What I want to talk about is sort of complex yet not complex at all if we compartmentalize it, right? And so the topic is staying close to your coach. Are you using your coach correctly to build your trading esteem, if we will? What I mean by that is, are you going rogue? Are you listening to what your coach is telling you to do? Oftentimes, what we have to think about is, am I doing what the instructor has instructed to do? When we were in school, did we know the outcome of, well, if I study this, what will happen? We don't know. We don't. Once we graduated from school, our choices in life led us to where we are today, right? We didn't. Did we use math? Maybe. Did we use history? Maybe. Those choices, those answers to those questions are based upon the choices that you made in your life after you graduated. But what I want to talk about is, are you the type of person that's just resetting, 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 blowing your account, losing, getting frustrated? Or are you the type of person that invests in yourself instead of investing in the education of the people that own the prop firm's uh, children, right? So what I mean by that is, are you investing in your own personal growth or are you investing in the growth of the prop firm by continuing to reset your accounts? So let's stick with that theme, right? So we have some young guns in the in the trading community that we have over at sageft.com, the live trading desk, uh, streamed Monday through Friday, 8 a.m. to noon on YouTube. And the thought of the difference in the style of learning is the younger guys or traders we do have some younger ladies they stick closer to the teacher as the instructor just like they would in college or university some of them just graduated high school so they're still using a teacher no matter what the young guys that have instead of spent money on resets which you can see how many resets they've done, right? If you look at the last number of the column, right, of their Apex account or their Top Step account, you can see how many times they've reset, right? And so the thought is, did they spend more money on resets or coaching calls? The ones that are truly moving to the head of the class in their own personal accounts and personal growth in their own life, those people you can see. And what they've done is they have really maximize the utility of their coach. Instead of spending $3,000 on resets, why not invest that in yourself? And what I mean by that is don't just go out and buy books that you don't know if we're going to help you or not. Don't go buy courses. Don't go buy any indicators. Okay. What I want you to do is I want you to get a coach instead of spending money on a stop out or reset month, why not just invest that $500 in having accountability to somebody else? Okay. And so if you think about how we learned when we were very, very young, we just had somebody tell us what to do. We were accountable to the teacher. The teacher gave us homework and you agreed that you would turn that homework in to, and have it completed to the best of your ability. Just because we've graduated from high school, we've forgotten that. Let's go back to that. Let's be in the mindset that you are always a student of the market. Always. Why would we not have a coach? All professional athletes have several coaches. You should have one, unless you're planning on staying in the Bush League the rest of your life. You can be the water boy. It's going to be expensive and taxing but you could do it. So be in the mindset of having an instructor being held accountable to somebody else. That's going to do it for me. This is Sage FT from the live trading desk. Uh, you can go to sagefttcom get the game plan to find my 100 level trade that I show in the stream all the time. And I hope you guys are liking these lovely advances. We're going to call this the $10.5 million studio. We'll see you tomorrow morning. Thanks.